Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to see a live demonstration of local file inclusion vulnerabilities. So we are going to pick a target, we are going to find the vulnerable parameters and then we are going to see that how we can find LFIs on that particular target in real world app scenarios. Right. So before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that uh, what is basically LFIs, how you can find them and what is the cause of LFIs, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And also for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website, which is bepractical.tech, then guys, you're missing a lot of great stuff, right? So go ahead and check the website, which is bepractical.tech. There you will find awesome labs related to account takeovers based on real world scenarios and all of those labs are basically free. So you can go ahead and try it out for yourself and get a lot more experience and skills by solving all those labs, right? If you have any doubts in those labs, you can also let me know through the Telegram channel whose link is given in the description. Now, with that being said, let us get started. So first of all, let's try to see what is our target. So let me just open my terminal over here and let me just show you the target. So we have this target right over here and we are looking to find local file inclusion vulnerabilities on this particular target, right? Now, what is the first thing that we need to do is see in the previous video, I have told you that if you want to find uh, LFIs, you need to focus on some specific parameters, right? Which could be potential vulnerable to LFIs. For example, it could be image equals to something like that, or maybe a file name or equals to something like that. Maybe uh, you can say um, document equals to something like that, right? Document equals to, let's say, uh, test.pdf, something like that. If you're seeing these kind of thing, then there's a high possibility that on that particular uh, endpoint, you should look for LFIs. Let's see how we can look for LFIs in this particular target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this and let me just open the browser over here. Let's paste it right over here like this. Let's wait a few seconds. And this is the web application as you can see. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enumerate all the possibilities, right? First thing first, let's try to understand what is this uh, application is uh, developed on, right? So as you can see, in this operating system is Windows Server and there is IIS 8.5 running, right? From this, we can identify that this application is uh, running on the Windows backend right the operating system is windows so here we are not going to look for etc slash password right let's see then what we need to look for okay so let me just type copy this and now let me just open google right over here and let's type site equals to this and now what i want to do is i want to search for some parameters like the parameters which i've shown you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in url uh, let's start with the file name and we know that this application is developed in the IIS server. So the extensions could be either ASPX or ASP, right? So I'm going to look for ASPX, ext equals to ASPX. Okay. Let's hit enter. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of links over here. And let me just open one of these, for example, this one. And over here, as you can see, there's this file, right? And if we look at the URL, we can see that there is this file name, right? This file name could be vulnerable to local file inclusion. We have this file type, we have this press ID. Let's try to modify them and let's see that if we are able to uh, play with the parameters or not. So if this press ID is nothing, then we are getting a no result, right? Uh, let's try to modify this. Let's remove this and let's see if we are able to get it. No, still we are not able to get anything, right? And now let's try to modify this to, let's say any random file name, for example, let's say uh, Batman dot uh, ABCD. Okay. Let's hit enter. And now what we are seeing over here is that this uh, application could not find this particular file, Batman dot ABCD, right? Which means that it tried to look for the file, which we have specified. Now, if this thing is, uh, this parameter is not uh, properly sanitized, we may be able to escalate it into uh, LFI. Right. Let's try to verify this. So currently we are over here in this directory from this error. We can clearly see that we are in this directory right now. If I try to do this, which I've shown you before, like let's try to do dot dot slash and let's try to type uh, Batman dot ABCD. Okay. Now, if you see carefully, we are just, uh, you know, we are just traversed back to the previous directory, right? 
earlier the directory was this one inside this directory the application was looking for the file but now it is looking in this directory which confirms that this could be 95 percent vulnerable to local file inclusion now what we need to do is we need to find a strong evidence right now in uh, in ias based server we have a file known as web.config which is pretty much there in every uh, iis based uh, web application right so what our objective is now is to find this web.config file so I, what i can do is i can type web.config like this and as you can see it is not there so let's traverse the directory one by one let's see again it is not there let's try to traverse again again it is not there let's try to traverse again uh like this and perfect as you can see we were successfully able to get the web.config file on this particular application right which means that we have confirmed that we are indeed able to get the sensitive contents or we were able to traverse into this particular application right so this confirms that this application is vulnerable to local file inclusion vulnerability i hope that you have understood it so this is pretty much it like this is what we are going to do if you want to find local file inclusion vulnerability i hope that you have understood it if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also as i've told you before do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security and ethical hacking and if you like the way I teach, then I am currently running two courses. The first one is Bug Bounty, the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers, where I have shown that how we can abuse or exploit the web application misconfiguration or vulnerability to hack anyone's account or to take over anyone's account. And the second course is Hacking Windows with Python from scratch, where I have shown you that how we can create our own custom malware that can be used to hack any Windows machine that can bypass any antivirus that can do a bunch of cool stuff like uh, executing system commands, uh, uploading and download fi downloading files, uh, accessing the webcam and so much, right? So if you're interested, then go ahead and check it out. The link of both of these courses are given in the description. And now with that being said, keep learning, keep hacking and thanks for watching.